Adam Lerner, and today we are in Lightroom, and we're going to be talking a little bit about how to enhance your workflow by using keyboard shortcuts. Now, Lightroom is very powerful. There are a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of adjustments in all the different modules. Right now, we are in the library module. However, there's a lot of actions that we can do by cruising around on the screen or going up into the Lightroom menu and I just hit the F key, by the way, to get up to this because this changes you from full screen to different viewing options. And you can easily go in there, okay? Um, there's ways of seeing all of those different kinds of things, okay? Now, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is oftentimes, you know, when we're doing this editing stuff, things might happen really quickly and you're wondering how did that happen so quickly? Well, I can tell you that it's largely because I am using keyboard shortcuts or keyboard combinations to get the job done. Now, if you want to figure out what keyboard shortcuts are available in any module that you're working in, you hold the command key down and you hit forward slash. And look at that. Look at all of these keyboard shortcuts that show up for you. Okay. Viewing shortcuts. Now these shortcuts allow you to do things while you're viewing your library. Okay. It allows you to go from grid mode to loop mode to compare mode, survey mode, full screen mode, uh, lights out mode, um, all different kinds of things. There's rating shortcuts. Okay. If you want to set ratings for different things. Okay. So oftentimes when you're scrolling through or going through a huge body of work, you want to change the ratings on things. Okay. Flagging shortcuts. If you want to flag your images, creating collection shortcuts, and then all these photo shortcuts, all these different kinds of things that you can do here. I'm not going to go through each individual one of these. I might talk about some of my favorite ones in here, but I just wanted to show you guys the power of this right here. I mean, who even knew that there was something like lights out mode, okay? So let's go into the loop mode, hitting the E key. Okay, we're in the loop mode. Now, if we want to get rid of all of our windows, we hit shift tab, all of our panels, okay? Now let's go into full screen mode by hitting F. Okay, so now we're in the full screen mode. We've got gotten rid of all of the extraneous panels and things like that, so we can really isolate looking at our image. And now look what happens when we hit the L key. Let's hit it again and we are in lights out mode. That means that there is absolutely nothing on the screen to distract us from, from, this, from the image that's at hand right now. How cool is that? Who even knew that there was such a thing? Okay, I'll hit the shift and tab key simultaneously. We get our tabs back. We are back in this mode. Now, let's say we want to go into develop mode. Okay, rather than like taking my mouse and going all the way up here to develop, I'm just going to hit the D key. Boom, here we are. We have all of our presets over here. Snapshot menu, history menu. We've got all of our different adjustment panels over here. We've got our film strip down here. Everything is where we need it. Let's say we just want to lose the adjustment panels. Hit the tab key. Boom, tab key again. They are back, okay? Let's say we want to do some cropping. Hit the R key. Boom, we're in the cropping module right there, okay? Let's say we want to add an adjustment filter, okay? Boom, K tool gets us right into this menu right over here. Let's say we want to adjust the white balance. Hit the W key. We've got the color picker. Boom. We click it on there. Now we have got a custom white balance. Don't want it. Hit command Z. We undo it. Look at that. That easy. Do you want to see what the keyboard shortcuts are in the develop module? Command forward slash. Boom. There are your develop shortcuts. They're all there. You want to change modes? They're right here. Practice these things. They're really cool. You want to change, you want to do some editing stuff. Remember, to get into the black and white module, all it is is the V key. That's as simple as that. Instead of going all the way over here, taking your eyes away from your image and hitting the black and white module, all you got to do is boom, hit the V key and you're in the black and white module. Look at that. That's simple. Black and white module. Okay. Um, output shortcuts, navigation shortcuts, viewing shortcuts. There are so many goodies in here. Okay. And I just wanted to let you guys know that the power that you have at your fingertips is so great. The kind of workflow that you can develop by saving time, by not having to spend a lot of time navigating the screen and using the keyboard is really going to help you to make your workflow even go that much better. I'm also going to post in this, in this video, the link to the, um, all of the keyboard shortcuts uh, on Adobe's website. That way you can either keep that open in a separate web, uh, separate window, you can view it or download it as a PDF, or you can use it as reference for you when you're trying to study. And you can look at this. And the cool thing about this, the thing that's on um, 
Adobe's website is that it gives you the Windows and Mac OS equivalent. So that way, you know, a lot of you guys say, well, how do you do this in Windows? I'm not a Windows guy. I don't have a Windows machine. So maybe it's a little bit different, but all of those differences are right here. A lot of them are really similar, but there are some minor nuances, minor differences, and you'll get that link as well. You can go lights out. You can really enjoy, you know, knowing that you have all this power at your fingertips. That's it for now. And we'll see you soon.